What's going on guys? So it's that time. I've been with Melton for three months and uh, it's time for the three month review. Now if you plan on going in flatbed and you haven't signed up with Melton, I don't know what you're doing. This is a great company. Let me start off by telling you about my DM and my planners. You know, my DM has been great, you know. Uh, I don't ever get phone calls. They treat you like an adult. You don't get micromanaged here, you know. Uh, my last company, I was getting blown up all hours of the day. It was borderline, it, it, I won't even say borderline, it was harassment. You know, I don't ever get phone calls. Uh, we communicate pretty much through the, through the Qualcomm, and if I have something that I, I need to talk about further, uh, and the Qualcomm isn't gonna cut it, I can call her any time of the day, well, while she's working, and uh, she's there to answer my questions, and she always answers the phone. And if she doesn't answer the phone, she'll always get right back with me. Um, the loads, the loads have been amazing. As far as the planner goes, the planner seems to know, you know, they're really good at what they do. They know exactly how much time for the most part I have on my clock, uh, where, when they fuel, when they plan for my fuel stops, they pretty much have it right down pat to when I'm gonna be taking my 30 minute break and where, where to take, where to go for my fuel. So, you know, and also, Fridays I try to get unloaded by Friday uh, Friday morning that way I can get a load you know to roll me through the weekend they usually have me set up if I if I say I get unloaded on a Wednesday they'll end up throwing me a little small load to take me to Friday morning and then give me a big load to run all the, all through the weekend to unload on Monday so you know like right now uh, this load was how many miles yeah so this load was 1200 miles and uh, I believe I picked it up on Thursday and it worked out great because I don't have to unload until Monday. I've been running off recaps for two weeks now and this load's gonna give me the opportunity to do about 2,500 miles this week plus do a 34 under this load and start with a fresh clock coming Monday when I get unloaded. So, you know, it's it, I have no complaints about that. Uh, as far as the communication goes, I think I touched on that a little bit earlier. You know, the communication is spot on. You know, I've had, I think I've had one instance where it was kind of messed up. You know, no need to really get into it. It was just a miscommunication problem. But they nipped it right in the butt and they got me a load that same day. So, you know, and I didn't really miss out on much. So, you know, they could have, they could have sat back and let me suffer. But they got right on it and kept me rolling so i have no complaints about that whatsoever uh the miles the miles have been wonderful and i'm about to show you here in a, in a minute when we uh when i talk about my pay i'm going to show you guys my pay stubs well i can't really show you my pay stubs because it's melting property i don't want to go on their website and show you that so what i did is i broke it down on an excel sheet of each week and all that and also my quarterly pay and all that stuff for you guys. But as far as my miles go, I think uh, my miles have been great. I think I've been averaging around 2,500 miles a week. So, you know, no complaints there at 49 cents a mile is what I'm getting paid. It plus the tarp pay, I have no complaints as far as that goes. Uh, also, you know, we got, we got Love's Diamond status right off rip every single month. So, I can go to Love's at any time, get free coffee, free showers, you know, and I'll, the showers I want to touch on a little bit. What th that's been one thing that's been a problem, you know, adjusting for me at least. Going from a reefer, reefer division to flatbed, flatbed I usually end up finishing my day or at least finishing the hard work, let's say. So in flatbed, if I'm done, Usually I'll start securing and load, securing and tarp in my load in the morning. Let's say 10 o'clock. Well, I'll end up finishing, you know, in the afternoon when everybody's shutting down and it's hard to find a parking spot in uh, the loves, the pilot, the TAs to go in there and take a shower. So it really sucks as far as that goes. 
Uh, and that's just, that's not Melton pertaining to, it's just flatbed in general. That's been a big challenge of mine. You know, I refuse to lay down in my bed without taking a shower. Um, you know, I've covered it mud from just dirt and water, you know, mud just from the tarps being wet, unsecured in those things. I got dirt all over me. My clothes are all torn up and stuff. I mean, I need a shower. I'm not gonna go lay down back there without one. So one good thing that Melton does with showers is, I believe it's they, they uh, refund you back 11 bucks per shower. So I'm not just tied to a Loves or a Pilot. I can actually go to, you know, some of these no-name truck stops. Well, we shouldn't say no name, but they're they're smaller smaller truck stops, but they have showers in them, and uh, I could go there and, and pay for a shower out of pocket and get reimbursed for it. So I've had to use that option uh, quite a few times, and Melton's reimbursed me no problem, you know. Um, so I have no complaints about that. <laughs> Now on to the pay. We're going to go ahead and hop on my computer here and I'm going to show you guys exactly how I get paid or how much I make. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so here's my pay stubs broken down into each each week, then broken down into each month, and then broken down into the quarterly here. So for the month of July, I only worked that one week, or I only got paid uh, July 28th. I was in orientation the whole time. I did get a $1,300 uh, transition pay, moving from Trans Am over to Melton Truck Lines, and I ended up netting $1,029. So for August, uh, this month was a little bit weak, if you ask me. Um, the miles, I only had one good week with decent miles. Um, you know, I was getting used to doing flatbed and I'm still getting used to it. So I only expect my pay to increase from here, but you can see August 4th, I only did 566 miles. That's because I had to go home, grab my stuff to put on my truck. Uh, I had $122 in deductions. I ended up grossing 292 and netting 213. August was 3,084 deductions all my deductions you're gonna see are the same 498 I don't end up, I end, I don't have any of my uh, health insurance my 401k none of that's being taken out yet none of that kicks in until October 1st so which uh, it's already started to kick in this is this is my three month uh, three month quarterly report here for my past three months so yeah 3084 miles I grossed eleven hundred and seventy three dollars took home 1369 now you're asking how I was able to net more than I grossed that's because I uh, I'm getting per diem pay so what they're doing is, is they're taking a portion of my miles and it's being non-taxed then they're taxing me on the other portion which is where you're getting this gross number then they're basically adding the non-tax portion so I'm actually taking home more than I'm grossing that, that's a good benefit um, as far as taking home more money, but if you're looking to buy a house like I am, it's not, uh, it's not the best because you're going to end up showing that you made less for the, for the year than you actually did make, as you can see right here. So the 18th did 1500 miles, $640 and took home $747.77. 2100 miles 13 or 2113 miles 914 dollars 1048.55 so my total gross was 2728 dollars my total net was 3165 dollars 36 cents so same thing for september broke that down now september was obviously a better month for me because i'm getting better at the doing the flatbed so, you know, 3,000 miles here, took home 1,433. 2,000 miles here, or 2,600 miles, I took home 1,381. Or I'm sorry, I grossed 1,381, took home 1,522. The 15th, I ended up, oh, what am I doing? The 15th here, I ended up going home that week, 
So I grossed 533 and I still made $623. And I actually, I actually was home from Wednesday to, uh, I left on Monday. So I took off Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I took off basically four days and uh, still brought home $623. So I can't complain there. Another uh, $1,100 for the 22nd, another $1,540 for the 29th. I ended up grossing $4,230 for that month. And my overall take home for that month was $4,805. Total miles, as you can see, my miles were a lot better this month compared to the previous month by uh, 2,000 miles. I also did have an extra week here, so uh, yeah, 9,000 miles for that month. You know, and I could definitely pump these miles up. I should be averaging around 11,000, 12,000 miles. So for that quarter, I ended up doing 16,000 miles. I grossed $8,258. Right, so and uh, and I yeah, I mean, took home I have 9, no complaints with Melton at all. I'm happy with this company. As a matter of fact, all my uh, benefits just started kicking in on the 1st of October. So, you know, I got my full health care, my dental, um, and my 401k. So, yeah, and I'm making good money here. I think I'm going to uh, stay here for quite a bit. And uh, like I said, I love the people I work with. Everybody out, everybody here is like family, and they treat you like family. So, as I said in the beginning of the video, if you're wanting to do flatbed, and you haven't signed up with Melton yet, I don't know what you're waiting for. I make a lot of videos, just basically how it is out here flatbedding. If, you, if you're still on the fence about going uh, on the flatbed side, feel free to watch some of my videos. The link is down in the description. Uh, I'll be coming out, I try to come out with one every week. So if you like the content or you wanna see more, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe, and uh, hit the notification bell so you know when more videos are coming out. Till then, I'll see you next week. Take it easy.